Hi Capricorn, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. We're gonna do um, general but focused energy around you for the weekend. This is Blue Hill Tarot and it is May 24th, 2024. Please support my channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting. I will be using some different oracle cards today and uh, I hope that you'll comment if you have time about what you think about the energies. There's the judgment card, so we'll put that back in the deck. Capricorn, 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 messages for the Capricorn. Messages for the Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. First card is uh, melancholy. Um, this is an energy of being somewhere you've been before and you're just sick of having to go there. Um, it's an energy of like, oh crap, why is this happening again? Why do I have to deal with the same problem or circumstance or emotion? Stay in the light. You see this person is trying their best to stay focused on the light. If you are feeling melancholy about something for the weekend, heading towards it, Capricorn, just show up. Be present. This light will grow around you. It's been a stressful week, a stressful time. The energy of uh, fertility is also the energy of a Libra. The energy of a Pisces. The energy of your focus being around the material and things and concepts that you may be working on around your job or your money or the material side of your path. The chariot moving forward, uh, you know, charging ahead, whether you're feeling melancholy or not, you know what you want. So we have a Libra, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Sagittarius showing up. Here's the energy telling you that you have the potion. If there's something that you're trying to accomplish around work, if you're trying to get a job, um, if you're the new person on the job, whatever it may be re related to your job and your profession, people know that you know how to put things together, you know what you're doing, it's really a message that you have the potion. The energy of a fast-paced weekend. This is a, the energy moving quickly. And the tower is in position nine. So you can expect this moon, the Scorpio moon, to bring some changes around the dynamics of any of the relationships that I've mentioned here or any that are still going to be thrown. But right here we have Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, Pisces energy. On the bottom of the deck, we have the emotional decisions card. Uh, you know, thinking about what it is that you want to do that's best for you or someone else. Kind of flip-flopping energy. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, so the, this is two fours. So something is knocking some Capricorns out of balance. Uh, something could be related to your health or someone else's health around you. You could just be totally exhausted from overworking. There's an energy of following up, following through around your health, Capricorn. Emotional baggage, things that you think are missing from your life. Perfect, beautiful energy around work. Walking away, the energy of an Aries, the Two of Swords, the energy of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and your emotions um, around the tower. So for those of you uh, Capricorns that have an Aries around you, um, there's definitely some message here um, around Aries that are uh, some fire sign, whether it's Aries or Leo, but they're waiting on news around something. Also, the energy of the Aries uh, could be having some emotional issues or health issues, be extremely 
uh, tired or worn out. The, the energy in position six is the Aries with the chariot. So there's some, some of you that are dealing with Aries in your life that have walked away from something or you are walking away from them. There's also a beautiful, Bart, stop that, sorry. There's a beautiful fast paced energy for Capricorn who are in relationships with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have to say that with regards to the Aries energy, the Cancer energy, the Sagittarius energy, um, if you're dealing with something or someone who has some baggage uh, in a relationship uh, that they've walked away from and they're still passionate about what they want and what they want to do, that energy is here. Now I'm going to uh, ask Capricorns to stop right now and to think of a question, a question that could generally be answered by a short phrase or a yes or no. And I will receive a card and let's see if it resonates. If it does, I'd love to hear from you. If it doesn't, I'd love to hear from you. Capricorn, answer the question. All right, yes. Ensure to protect and conserve your emotional, your emotional, okay. Uh, protect and conserve you, your emotional. All right, we'll let one more card come out. That's, okay, well, we got two. Okay, so see if these correspond with any of the questions you may be asking. Allow this moment to occur is the answer. No, it's time to move on. All right, beautiful. Now let's get one angel guidance card for the Capricorns, please. Capricorn guidance. Capricorn Guidance. Thank you. Be a light to others. Oh, how beautiful. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. Have a great weekend. Please support my channel by subscribing, liking, sharing, and I hope some of you will have time to comment. Take care. Have a great weekend.